Shalom. Prakti Hala, Barshim, the Havshai, Barshim, Kark Darsh. All praise and glory is definitely due, especially in the times we're living in. Much honors and respect to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, and to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and truth, rightfully dividing the word of truth. How is that done? Through your precepts. All right. Psalms 119, 104. It is through that precepts that I get that understanding. All right. So I say, Shalom. All right. All right. The title of this lesson will be Prepare uh, His Children for the Slaughter. All right. For the iniquities of their fathers. All right. I'm talking about the wicked. Esau, all right, the Edomites. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to jump right here into uh, Jeremiah 49, 8. Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the Dan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. Is not the Lord visiting the earth, all right? This stuff is all throughout the scriptures, like in Matthew's 24th chapter, right? And there will be earthquakes, right? Okay, uh, there will be, you know, famines, all right? All these things that are taking place on the earth, that's the Lord visiting Esau, all right? Because he's going to make him suffer, all right, prior to... His destruction, all right? And that stuff is all throughout the scriptures. Anyway, we're going to go into this word, calamity. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him, all right? So we're going to go into the blue letter, all right? Give me a minute. All right, here we are in the blue letter, all right? As you can see, Jeremiah 49 8. And we want to go to the word calamity. All right? This is in the Hebrew. Hebrew 3, 43. Strong's H, 343. Aid. Aid. What does it mean, calamity? Distress, burden. See, calamity of a nation, disaster of the wicked. See that? All right. Give me a minute. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. This is talking about the Edomites, the wicked. All right. You people can start up from the top. All right. But the Lord tells the Son of Man, set thy face against Mount Seir which in modern day is called Petra, and prophesied against it, All right? And it goes on to say here, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand. So he is against the Edomites, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make these most desolate. And of course, that's the ultimate gain by the Most High when he brings that thermonuclear fire right from the ICBMs from the other nations, because he's going to put his will on the other nations to send those ICBMs onto America, Babylon the Great. This is all prophecy. It's all in the scriptures. All right? So, and I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Right? Not him. Where Esau is down here, you know, playing God. All right? All right, so because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel, see that? All right? By the force of the sword, in the time that their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. All right? Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. And since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. All right, Let's see what it says here for this word perpetual. It 
See? See what it says here? Long duration. Forever and ever. Everlasting. All right? We tell you that all the time, what it means. Forevermore. Perpetual. See? Forever. Always. This man has never let up having his foot upon our necks for the past 530 years here in the Americas. All right? For you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes. All right? See? Everlasting, indefinite, unending. See? All right? Give me a minute. This is Numbers 35. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. All right? And, of course, they shed the blood of the Israelites, right? So ye shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. See that? That's called payback. That's called recompense. Okay? All right? It's not the Lord say he will recompense, right? I will take revenge. Right? Revenge is mine, saith the Lord, right? Verse 34. Defile not therefore the land which he shall inhabit, wherein I dwell. For I, the Lord, Yahweh, we say that because we see the word in all caps, the word Lord, in the Hebrew Bible, in the Hebrew text, that would be Yahweh. All right? Read from right to left. All right? So I, the Lord, Yahweh, dwell among the children of Israel. And he does. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that he dwelleth in you, right? We are the temple, we are the church, we are the congregation. We Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up 12 tribes of Israel, all right? So you see, okay, in order for the land, the land to be cleansed, the Lord has to shed the blood of the Edomites, those that shed the blood of the Israelites, and that includes the other nations as well, all right? But it all starts with the tabernacles of Edom. Give me a minute. This is Job 20 and 10. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. All right, well, first of all, we're going to take the kingdom. As you read in Daniel, the seventh chapter, all right, and the Israelites shall take the kingdom. All right? So nobody's giving us anything. We're going to take the kingdom. All right? And that starts with the Shai and the angels. All right? His bones are full of sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. See that? All right. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down according to the substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he have violently taken away a house which he buildeth not. See that? People get the point? Give me a minute. Isaiah 14, 21, 22, this is where I get my title. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Now, right away. Edomites will go, well, wait a minute, that wasn't me, those were my forefathers. That isn't fair, that isn't right, that isn't just. Really? Well, we'll see what the scriptures say. All right? Let me continue reading. All right? Mm -hmm. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I, right? Right, the Most High, Yahweh to His Son, Yahweh Shai, and the angels. I will rise up against them, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, hosts meaning armies, all right, it's in the army of His angels, all right, and cut off from Babylon, it's talking about America, Babylon the Great, the name, the remnant, and son and nephew, and if you notice, that's all the male seed. See? Talking about cutting off the sea, saith the Lord, Yahweh. All right, let's get into some precepts here. All right, 
We got plenty of precept. Let's go to Psalm 6 and 10. Give me a minute. All right, this is Psalm 6 and 10. What does it say? Let all my enemies, right? And if you want the hit list, you can go to Psalms 83 again. It starts with the Tabernacles of Edom. All right? Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. See that? So you, you people don't get it. You are your forefathers. Come back. Okay? Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Okay? Regeneration, reincarnation is biblical. Let me give you an example. All right? Give me a minute. All right, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because this is not the lesson for today. But this is to show you that regeneration, reincarnation is biblical, people. All right? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, and you see this is in red lettering, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, right? When you return, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones. Who's he talking to? His disciples, right? Well, how are they going to sit on the throne in the future, right? When Yahweh comes back, unless they've been regenerated, reincarnated. And how does that happen? Through the seed of your sons. Okay? And we've already read, prepare slaughter for its children, right? And that the son, the nephew, right, the male seed is going to be cut off of the Edomites. The Lord's going to do that. Right? But this is how you're brought back. So you people don't get it. You don't understand. You are your forefathers coming back in the flesh. All right? And that's what reincarnation means, back in the flesh. All right? So everyone that have forsaken houses, brother and sisters, Father, mother, wife, children, land, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. All right. You know what? We're going to end this here. I'm going to give you two more when we come back with part two. All right. And that'll end it, you know, to cover it, to give you understanding. All right. So we'll be right back with uh, part two. Shalom.